Hey guys, what's going on? This is your host Mike, Michael, or Thoughts Become Things. Today I'm bringing us a flashback from the past video. Now I've actually created this video on a separate channel. Message me if you're interested in checking that one out. But in this video I'm going to go over another diagram of the mind. And this is a very simple, simplistic diagram. And the title of this video is You Attract based on your mood and you really attract based on your energy and here's how to change it if you are looking to shift your energy from the negative spectrum over to the positive spectrum so I'm offering a deep wise perspective here that is based in wisdom that is based in absolute truth so stay tuned I really think that you're going to enjoy this video just watch it to the end and you'll soon find out that you can in fact take back control of your life so you attract based on your mood and here's how to change it is the title so I actually created this diagram but in the past on a separate YouTube channel I've gone through many different YouTube channels this is one of the few that I've been very consistent on and I declare and decree that I remain consistent on this channel but in this video I really want to touch up on this topic and show you another diagram of the mind and show us how we can take our negative momentum moods and shift it over to the positive spectrum and there's a truly simple way to do this so let's begin with this diagram they say that the mind works via pictures and images so the absolute truth is that we are all visual learners so this diagram that I actually created begins with a red greater than sign as you're now seeing on the screen we began with a blank sheet of paper a blank white background now we're drawing this image on here I created all of this with Photoshop so you begin with this drawing and I'm explaining the mind and how to take back control of your life so basically there is this red greater than sign and on the polar opposite end let's go ahead and draw this blue less than sign and you see these two points basically form an X but you'll soon find out what we're talking about here you'll soon see that these are actually the two ends of the mind sometimes we use our energy and build us some negative momentum and other times we use our energy and build positive momentum on and I'm going to show us how we can better take back control of our lives in order to build positive momentum in our lives and this diagram really shows you what's really going on with the mind as far as the creation process goes so let's go ahead and move forward in this diagram as you can see there we just put and placed a positive sign on the blue less than sign and now we are putting a negative sign where the red greater than sign is and in the middle let's go ahead and label this diagram now and we're going to call this the mind now this is just another way to view the mind and to view what's actually happening in our lives whenever we don't feel good what's actually happening in our lives whenever we do feel good so this is where it all begins the creation of all things actually begins with that center dot that I just put up on the screen now if you missed it rewind this video about five seconds ago and you'll see that I actually put a black circular dot that marks the intersecting point of the negative side and the positive side it actually intersects in the very center of that point dead zero center I guess you could call it the zero point is actually referred to that point in the center between the two the negative and the positive spectrums that center point represents what we refer to as the narrow gate in scripture now I'm going to simplify this hang on hold tight because you're going to see how this all plays out here and it might just blow your mind a little bit so that center point is called the narrow gate but for sake of this video and for sake of this diagram we are going to label this the present moment because it is the same thing they are one and the same the narrow gate referred to as in scripture says enter through the narrow gate 
Well, the narrow gate, we actually come to find out, is referred to as the present moment. So that dot in the center is actually referred to as the present moment. Imagine your mind, if it's truly present, you don't really have any negative momentum going on in your life, and you're not really focused on any positive momentum in your life. The sad truth is that many people believe and they think that they're being present in their mind. Right? Imagine your mind within this diagram. Imagine that you're living out and walking out what I'm referring to these points in the diagram because this is what it's actually referring to. This is just an image of the mind. And whenever we are truly present, as Dr. Joe Dispenza has put it, we become no thing. We become nothing. We become nowhere. We become no one. We become no thing. And those are the moments in which we are simply present. We are simply aware that we are. And that's it. We're talking about consciousness here. This is a picture of the mind and explains how we can create using consciousness and how we already create using consciousness. This diagram is just illustrating what we already know about consciousness. Now that center dot is referred to as the present moment. And this is referred to as the narrow gate within the Bible. This is actually the center point and the focal point of where all creation first is originated from. It's all originated from what we refer to as the present moment. When accessed in our own consciousness, the present moment is simply us becoming aware that we are the observer. It's us simply becoming aware that we are observing things. And that's all we are really doing. If you, Because if we're truly present, we are no one any longer. We are nowhere any longer. And we are no thing. We don't know what we are. We're just simply observing things. Now, I'm talking about consciousness. Now, hang on here. Let's go ahead and move us on to our next point within this diagram of consciousness and of the mind. This video is called... You attract based on your mood, and here's how to change it. But first we have to become aware of why moods form to begin with, and how they form. So we talked about it, everything begins with that first present moment. But let's go ahead and add an arrow pointing in the positive direction, and let's call this positive thoughts, as we've now labeled this in the diagram. And we're going to label the polar opposite negative side, negative thoughts. Now, what are you giving power to? What are you giving energy to? Because this is a tall tale sign of where you are going to end up on this spectrum or where you presently are on this spectrum. No matter where you are in consciousness on this spectrum, it can be shifted and it can be, in fact, changed. But you must learn to access first the present moment. Because what happens is, whether we have a thought pattern, guys, we're talking about what we think about on the daily, what we think about all the time. And it starts to build what we refer to as momentum. And now we have labeled right below the arrow of positive and negative thoughts on each side of this diagram, the word momentum. Because the more you think habitual negative thoughts, the more that's going to spiral. And conversely and similarly, if you have a habitual pattern of thinking positive thoughts and you're planting positive seeds intentionally within your mind's eye, then you are beginning to build a little bit of positive momentum. But guys, view this in terms of energy because consciousness is energy, in fact. How do you know where the majority of your thinking lies? Well, ask yourself, how do I feel? What's my mood like? Because if my mood is not so neutral and I'm feeling more bad than good, then you have built up negative momentum for yourself. And conversely, and on the polar opposite side of things, so we talked about that positive end of the mind, whenever you begin building up positive habitual energies through positive thoughts, those things also progressively build momentum through the process of acceleration, through the process of consistency as well. You become what you think about. 
but you can only really create from that middle present moment that we talked about. And to expand on this further, I wrote the words awareness of self right below the present moment. Because if you're truly present, we talked about it, you are the observer and you have a whole new awareness of what you refer to as self. This is the true self. This is the self that becomes whatever it thinks about. And this is also called taking control of the mind. This is also called conscious thinking. This is what we're doing. We're taking control of the mind by using conscious thought. So back to what we were talking about. Now look on the diagram now. I added some lines there on the negative side to show you what it looks like. Because first, our negative thoughts start real small, real small, but it eventually grows in momentum. Remember what we talked about. The more negative thoughts you think, the more momentum you are going to build. Those negative thoughts get stronger and stronger. So as we give energy to our problems, it actually creates more momentum of negative energy, unfortunately. And the energetic shift becomes stronger and stronger that it can actually create a personality or an identity. Now, we're not getting there yet in this video, but just stay tuned for that because we actually have a second diagram that's going to show what happens when either the negative side grows too strong or whenever the positive side actually grows too strong. Remember, guys, it's all what we give energy to that grows. But these negative thoughts can grow so big that it can actually create what we call a personality or an identity. That's how serious and strict the mind is. But this is now showing us what our thoughts are actually doing. Because many of us just live on the surface level of knowing, hey, I feel good today. I feel bad not this day. Hey, I feel bad today. Hey, I don't feel so good this day. Hey, I really don't feel good this day. Hey, I'm starting to feel pretty good this day. But now we're actually showing the diagram of what's actually occurring here and what can be a byproduct of habitual negative thoughts, what can be a byproduct of habitual positive thoughts. So what you tell your mind and what you feed your mind is the most important thing in life. If something is making you too mad, keep in mind that those things are going to build such a momentum in your life that if you don't stop that train, whatever's causing those negative thoughts and get to the deep core of, hey, what's causing this? What can I stop doing that is making me think such negative thoughts all of the time, making me feel really bad? Because again, guys, you'll know what level of thought you're on depending on your mood, depending on how you feel currently. That's how you sort of know what end of the spectrum you're on as far as this chart goes. So let's go ahead and add those momentum bars to the positive side, the right side, the positive spectrum of the chart. So now we've added momentum to both the positive side and the negative side. Now the question is, what are you thinking about more of the time? Because you can shift from negative to positive. You can build momentum in either direction, but oftentimes, here's the trick, if we've built too much negative thinking, you can't just jump from extremely positive feeling good from the negative thoughts, believe it or not. Now, you can shift your mind and shift your perspective, but did you know that the only way to actually do that via consciousness, and this chart illustrates here, is through that center point? So what I'm saying is you can't just overnight and immediately create a whole new positive reality. That's what I'm saying to you. That's the absolute fact. And anybody that says otherwise is telling you an absolute lie. Positive thoughts only create a new version of you referred to as an identity or a personality through constant exercise of certain positive thinking habits. You must form this into a habit. But what I'm showing you on this chart is sometimes we can be on the negative side of things. So what happens if we have built too much negative momentum? Well, you're going to have to first remove what's causing that. If it's a certain person, a certain TV show, a certain video game, a certain thing that somebody said, you're going to have to remove that from your life temporarily and 
go away, spend some time in nature, or do something completely vastly different than what you've been doing. Remember, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting to feel different. So if something is almost guaranteed to make you feel bad, and you're doing that every day, you need to become conscious of of why you continue to tune into those things. Why do I continue to give my thought life over to those things that cause me not to feel that good? Now, guys, we're not going to feel good all the time, but yes, there are realities in which you can feel good most of the time. So let's go back to this diagram. What happens if you're stuck and ruminating in the negative? What happens if you're stuck and ruminating on that negative spectrum? What if you've already built the momentum on that red negative side over there? Well, the only way to change it is to get general about how you feel. Now, Abraham Hicks is good at referring to this as going general. So if you're really, really, really mad, you have to begin with just saying, hey, instead of explaining the situation in specificity, you are basically saying things that are generalized on how you feel. So an example would be if you're having too much negative momentum built in your thought, you're first saying, I don't feel good. I really don't feel good. Guys, you have to get as general as possible. This doesn't feel good. What does this feel like in my body? Describe how you feel, but don't describe it in detail. Because in order to access those positive thoughts and begin going on that spectrum, remember, this is consciousness, guys. This is the mind. You can't just jump from negative to positive. You have to enter through the narrow gate. You have to actually enter through the present moment. So find ways that you can become present. Spending time in nature is a great thing. Drawing, reading, writing, these things all get the mind very, very present. Because what happens is we build too much negative momentum here. We've entertained negative thoughts as a habitual lifestyle, unfortunately. We've sort of become addicted to our problems. Now, I don't think that we become addicted to feeling bad, but we do become addicted to certain thoughts that cause us to feel not so good. So are you following me? So what happens if you're stuck in the negative side? Well, you have to enter through the narrow gate. The narrow gate is illustrated here in this diagram. It's called the present moment. Remember, you can't just jump from extremely negative thoughts to extremely positive thoughts right away. But rather, you must first slow the momentum of the negative thoughts first. First, you slow the momentum. Then, once you slow the momentum of those negative thoughts, usually the only way to slow the momentum is to, like I said, walk away from whatever's bothering you. Even if it's a job that you're working, you have to walk away for the sake of your health. Your, your life's not going to improve unless you make different choices for your life. You have to walk away from certain things. So as you're walking away, you're removing the cause of whatever's causing the negative thinking to enter your mind. Then the essence of this diagram shows that you have to get into the narrow gate, as referred to as in scripture. You have to access that present moment. So find a way to access that present moment. Draw, read, do some writing, do some journaling. You can just daydream at a screensaver. You just don't have to think about anything. Just stare at clouds outside if you have to. Just focus on what you're eating. Focus on what you're drinking and only put your full attention and awareness on what you're doing in the present moment. That's how to get present. You aren't thinking about certain things that are happening in the future. You are bringing your mind back to the present moment. Enter through the narrow gate. So once you have access to the narrow gate or the present moment, now you can begin going general on good feeling things. And if it's a glass of water that you're focusing on and you're becoming very present and all that negative momentum has subsided and you've taken away from all that momentum, now you begin focusing on small things. Don't start big. You focus on small things that you can be grateful for in that present moment. You go general on what positive thoughts feel good to you. Hey, I want to feel good. I wish and want to feel better in my body. I want to feel better. I want to feel more present. I want to feel healthy. 
because this means that my mood could lift. And you begin just sort of talking yourself into success. You begin sort of talking yourself into the positive thought spectrum. But again, I can't go back to this enough and reference this point enough. The only way that you're going to do this is to become present with the moment at hand. Most of us think that we're present, but most of us are not truly present. To be present is to be no one, no thing, nowhere. It's to simply observe whatever you're doing. It's to simply observe Guys, it's a state of being. It's a state of consciousness that you have to access. It's not just what we talk about. It's a literal feeling state of consciousness that you, in fact, can access, referred to as the present moment. This is where we take back control of our lives. Without the present moment, we have no control over what we create via the mind, via what you're seeing. Guys, we only create via negative thoughts or via positive thoughts. The question is, what end of the spectrum are you habitually on? The only way that you know what end of the spectrum you're habitually on is what you are thinking most of the day. And it's also what you're feeling most of the day because that's how you really know whether you're on the positive end of the mind or the negative end of the spectrum of the mind. What am I feeling all throughout the day, guys? This diagram is just helping us take back control of our lives. As I've said, this video is titled you attract based on your mood and here's how to change it well what mood are you in the majority of the time because if your mood is on the negative end of the spectrum it's time to change your habits it's time to change what you're doing that's bringing you certain feelings you need to find more things that give you a greater sense of feeling good things that promote positive thinking or positive thoughts in your life so the step to changing the negative thoughts is to remove the momentum from the negative thoughts by taking out what's causing you to feel so bad discover what's causing you to feel bad take it out and enter the present moment ground yourself get present do some stretching drink a glass of water whatever you can do to sort of alleviate what you were feeling Without ignoring it, I'm saying it's not that you're ignoring it. It's that you are seriously just taking a intentional, directed break from those feelings, from those negative thought patterns. Whatever's caused, guys, there's always things that are causing the anxieties in our lives. There's always a catalyst that's causing a chain reaction of chemicals in our body. We have to discover what exactly caused my day to not feel so good then we can begin beginning with small gratitude steps of positive thoughts find things that you're grateful for and begin forming a habit of writing down things of what you're grateful for and feeling things that you're truly grateful for well if you do that enough that actually begins building positive momentum and if that momentum grows strong enough which all began from a one present moment awareness Guys, this is how we take back control of our mind. This is called conscious thinking. Those positive thoughts then can build so strong that they also create a what we call a personality or an identity. So we are going to shortly get into the second chart that explains and illustrates rather what this actually looks like whenever the negative thoughts build such a strong momentum. And... What happens whenever the positive thoughts build to such an immense degree? Like, what does that actually look like beyond this chart? Because you can only see the negative built strong momentum on the left side. Then you also see that the positive thoughts built a strong momentum on the right side of the screen. But what does this actually look like in the mind and in the results within our lives past this point? Because there is a diagram that actually explains what this all looks like past this point so let's move on to that right now we're beginning with a blank sheet of paper and we are going to draw a circle in the center of this diagram now guys keep in mind we are labeling this the mind as well so let's go ahead and tack that on to this drawing keep in mind guys this is what it looks like this is another visual representation of what it looks like in the mind this is just another representation and diagram of what it looks like in the mind once we have built those momentums that we previously talked about in that previous image of the mind 
So after all the momentum has built, we end up with this diagram. And we have a dot in the center of this diagram. And then we have a circle. This represents the mind and it also represents our consciousness. Now what is that center point? Well guess what? That's the present moment. So let's go ahead and label this with an arrow, the present moment. So this is also referred to as the present moment. And everything else is bits and pieces of our consciousness that we've evolved and grown by giving certain energy to. So what happens and what does it actually look like visually whenever we have given so much energy to the negative things? And what does it look like whenever we've given some energy to, say, a positive idea? And we've built so much momentum. Well, now you're seeing on screen, this is what it looks like. This is the mind, and this is our consciousness. Now, follow me here. This is really deep. We talked about in the previous diagram that we built both negative momentums as well as positive momentums. Now, in this diagram in particular, there's only one positive momentum, which, guys, those red dots that you're seeing are actually referred to as identities. They're actually energy that we have given such an immense degree in, in thought that they have surfaced and created something so large referred to as a personality or an identity. It's something who we believe ourselves to be. And you see, the mind is the whole aspect. We think that we're just one person in our mind. No, we're not. Everybody has multiple aspects of them. Now, for sake of this chart, let's just label some of these aspects here what we have labeled them. So we've labeled many of the negative momentum thoughts pain. Now, Eckhart Tolle, or Eckhart Tolle, however you pronounce that last name, he actually goes in depth not with this diagram because I actually created this diagram, but he actually goes in depth that whenever we create such a negative momentum of thought in our lives, we actually refer to that as the pain body. The pain body can surface, but the pain body is also not present. Now follow me here. Back to the diagram. We labeled these negative momentum of thoughts. Guys, that, that's all you're looking at. Those red dots on screen built such an immense degree of momentum negative thinking that now it even has a name. And some of it's called trauma. One's called trauma, as you see on screen. One's called pain. Another's called pain. And then the third one is also called pain. And then what happened whenever we built such a positive momentum of thinking in our lives? We created a whole new personality who we believe ourselves to be. We created a whole new identity referred to as this positive self-image. Now, that's just what we called it. It could be called Bob, Sally, Sue, or Tracy. It could be called anything and everything. But this is looking at basically multiple personalities and how personalities are actually formed. Now, if this is not mind-boggling, I don't know what is. Now, I actually created a video back in the year 2020, believe it or not, that explained this diagram. So message me if you're interested in that diagram. I still have it on a different YouTube channel, but for now, we're just focused on this updated version that I've created for our satisfaction and for our education. So guys, now you know what it actually looks like visually in the mind whenever we have either consciously or unconsciously given so much attention and feeling to negative energy or whenever we've given so much attention and positive energy to our positive thoughts and our positive habitual patterns of thought and feeling. It creates multiple shattered bits and pieces of our consciousness that all reside within the mind. Now, if you want to look at things more from a simplified analytical perspective, Consider checking out the video by Teal Swan on YouTube. Check out Teal Swan Fragmentation, the Worldwide Disease. Now, she goes into a little bit of detail about what fragmentation is, but on screen, you're actually seeing what fragmentation is. We have different bits and pieces of our consciousness that split off, but they all remain in the same one mind. That's how deep our mind is. So you don't ever actually escape the pain within you. And it never really goes away. 
but it's whatever you choose to perceive because both pain and pleasure are ends of spectrums of consciousness and it's also end of spectrums of what we are habitually used to feeling and thinking about but did you know that you can begin taking conscious control of your life and begin feeding more positive thoughts to your mind and in turn that gives us a way out of the pain it gives us a way out of the trauma because although you can't sort of uncreate those other painful personality identity aspects that you've created in your mind you can enter the narrow gate referred to as the present moment and you can also use that present moment by discontinuing momentum of whatever's causing the pain find out what's causing the pain find out what's causing the trauma to grow and then you basically are shrinking it in your own consciousness now i said that you can't really make these go away and that's true but you can shrink them to such a degree that they barely exist anymore and the only way you know jesus also referred to in john 3 that this is actually you're actually seeing a diagram in john 3 that says that jesus was talking to nicodemus saying in order to enter the kingdom of heaven you must be born again the only way to be born again guys is through the present moment the narrow gate now, I also am referencing John 10. and John 10, check this one out. It says, I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. John 10. This actually begins in verse 9 if you're wondering what verse but in John 10 verse 9 it says I am the gate whoever enters through me will be saved they will come in to the present moment as you're seeing on screen that's actually what Jesus is referring to I am the narrow gate I am the present moment they will come in and go out and find pasture so even in John 10 verse 9 it's saying that there's somewhere to go with your thought there's somewhere to go after you've entered through the gate so you're not just entering the gate and you're just living there no we're talking about reality creation it's whatever you want to create god wants you to have heaven jesus wants you to inherit the kingdom of heaven and things like this but the only way to truly access the kingdom is to find out what's fueling the pain in your life and begin revoking some of those actions perhaps that you're doing some of those thoughts that you're thinking guys what's causing you to think such negative thoughts and then do you just work on hey you're saying i care about my life i'm going to work on removing these things even if it's really hard to do at first i'm going to make it an effort to remove whatever's causing those negative feelings in my life whatever's causing the negative habitual thoughts you might have to dive deep into what's actually causing the pain and trauma to grow in your life but this image puts it very simply. They will go out into the present moment and then find pasture whenever they've surpassed the present moment. And if we go back really quick to this other diagram, we see that the present moment is in the center point where all creation begins, enter through the narrow gate. So the only way to find pasture within the positive thought kingdom and build momentum is to first enter through the present moment so find ways to be present you can even look up on youtube or on google how do i get present and you begin sort of doing more of those things that cause you to become more present and more present and more present and then guess what you can begin giving gratitude once you've formed the habit of getting present in your life and then once you have formed the habit of becoming present you can work the mind in a new positive direction for your life this is how we take control of the mind this is also called awareness of self or conscious thought it's conscious thinking and deliberately creating our lives by understanding this diagram and what the power of the present moment could really bring us so i declare and decree now just from watching this video you're becoming very mindful and very aware of the fact that you are going to have to access that present moment more often I declare and decree that you're understanding these concepts now more than ever and that you're beginning to give more power.
power and energy because that's really all it is at the end of the day. But I declare in the decree that you're giving more energy to the positive end of the spectrum. I declare in the decree that you are combating the negative momentum and because you are sort of miscreating for your life. Let's begin accessing the present moment once again. And then from there, we can go out and find pasture within the positive thinking realm. So one last time, guys, back to this final diagram. I know this is a very extensive, sort of elongated video, but thank you for tuning in and taking the time to really understand this diagram. Because this is truly worth its weight in gold if you understand it and you apply what you've already learned now. So again, guys, it's whatever you're giving energy to, it's growing in your life. So if you want to create more of a positive self-image or something that you can call a positive self-image, creating the positive, you're going to have to revoke power from the enemy in your life by revoking whatever's causing, because again, there's a cause to every effect. There is a cause to every effect in life. We don't just think positive just because, and we don't just feel and think negative just because. There are certain things that perhaps we are doing, whether it be a job, a source of entertainment, a certain TV show, a certain person, that is a cause in our life. So let's remove the cause, and then we can begin more frequently accessing the present moment. And then from there, creating a whole new positive pasture of self-image. Something that we can call righteous. Something with that, we, that we can call positive, feel-good state. We begin acting on those things more than we do the pain, more than the trauma. We begin refocusing our mind in such a way that we begin giving more energy, power, and consciousness to the positive life that you're wanting to live. So guys, I might actually make another elaborated video on this if we have any questions or comments uh, leave your questions and comments below and we will see you in the next video just go over this a couple more times if you didn't quite understand it and i will do my best to answer any and all questions that you have about this diagram that i created i didn't get this from anybody i literally created this two years ago roughly two years ago it's almost been three years but yeah i actually created a diagram that popped in my mind one day and i was like hey this is a great way to actually illustrate what's happening when our negative thoughts build to such a degree, when our positive thoughts even build to such a degree, it creates little aspects, little dots of consciousness within our own mind. And we believe these to be us. And truth be told, they are aspects of us, but it's not the fullness of who we are. This shows that there is so much more to creating our reality than once was thought. It means that you can look at your pain and traumas in new ways. You can say, hey, I am looking at you as a dot now. You aren't the fullness of who I am. I can access the present moment. That's a part of me too. I can also create positive momentum of thinking and create whole new personalities with those positive thoughts. And I can channel my energy into that direction. So this gives us whole power over our lives. So take control of your mind today as a final reminder. Take control of your mind. These were just basic illustrations to help us get there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. It's been a pleasure. This is your host, Mike. Michael, our thoughts become things. Check out our future videos and go over this one maybe a few more times to truly understand it.